Now more than ever, people are realizing it's time to build a side hustle, not just for the obvious of making money, but many like myself do it to diversify our skills and for a sense of fulfillment and a personal challenge. A side hustle is a safety net that could one day become a new full-time career or business of our own. This video is about how to find a digital marketing side hustle of your own. It isn't a video about surveys or PayPal hacks or any get rich quick scheme. It's about legit side hustles that can be done online for those willing to put the work in. Stay tuned to the end. This video is going to be broken down into four main sections. How to discover a worthwhile side hustle. How to identify the opportunities. How to find your superpower and how to earn an additional income in an unexpected way. Number four is a bonus section, so stay tuned to the end and we'll talk about additional ways you can create an income stream. For the most part, you, all you're going to need for a digital marketing side hustle is a laptop and internet access. So this has some huge advantages. You can work with people all over the world. You can work from anywhere. Your setup costs are low and your schedule is flexible. Me, for instance, I work in the night when the family are asleep. That's when I work on my own business. Step one is we're going to find some software. Now, we need to find a good product, one that businesses need. I'd recommend businesses because generally they've got bigger budgets. And if they choose to use that software, then they're going to stick with it for that little bit longer. If you've already got some industry knowledge, wherever it may be that you've worked previously, then that could come in really useful. Have a think about the businesses that you've worked at and what software they needed. Next up, we're going to look at some inspiration anyway. I'm going to show you a website called captera.com. We're going to go to that website, we're going to have a browse through, and we're going to see if there's anything we can find. So Captera is a great website for getting some inspiration for tools and services. So as we look through, there's loads of different categories, uh, there's tons of different companies on there, and there's tools and services for pretty much every function that you can imagine. So what we want to do is we want to find some of this software that's actually useful, that businesses need. Now that could be from websites to lead generation to uh, how they organize their day-to-day -day activities. It, there's tons and tons of reasons why a company would need software, and it's about finding the right one. So do your research on this bit. What we're going to do is we're going to find one piece of software, then we're going to dig deeper into the possibilities. For this video and for demo purposes, I'm going to use ClickFunnels, which is a software that I pay for myself. So step two is we're going to reverse engineer all the possible uses for that software. We need to have a think what businesses require the software. Think about what it is, how it's used, who are the businesses that are using this particular piece of software and why? What are the problems does it solve for that business? Now, going back to the example that I gave you before, I use ClickFunnels. Now, ClickFunnels has two real arms to it. One of it is sales and marketing training that anyone can learn, but the main product is a subscription-based software that's used to build sales funnels. Basically, a website on steroids that converts traffic into customers at a better rate. So who are the customers of ClickFunnels or the software that you've chosen? For me, ClickFunnels is software that can be used by anyone that sells a product or service. That's a wide array of people. Coaches, consultants, local businesses, info products, e-commerce, network marketers, agencies, freelancers, bloggers, affiliates. There's tons of different people that can benefit from the use of ClickFunnels. So ask yourself the same question. The software that you've chosen, you may have some industry knowledge already on that software, but who would use it and why would they use it? Hey there, before the video continues, can I ask you to help me out please? My name is John, I'm a dad of two, a husband of one. Each time you smash the like button, a chocolate bar falls out of the sky and keeps my kids quiet for at least five minutes. Please smash the like button. Thank you. Step three, we're going to look at what are your skills. So do you have any existing skills that can be utilised? How do they fit into the product that you've chosen? Maybe your existing role or previous experience or even hobbies have given you skills that would suit that particular piece of software. If not, then what new skills can you learn? Everything that you need is at the end of your fingertips. If you're resourcefulness and focus enough, look at what people need, then block out all other distractions and go and learn them skills. Now, I'm not trying to undermine people's skill sets. I know these people here that have spent 10, 20 years refining the art and the craft of whatever it's skill it is you're going to use as your digital marketing side hustle. But that doesn't stop you from getting started. That doesn't stop you from learning. So have a look at what people need and we're going to go and learn that. 
So the site we're on at the moment is Upwork. It's one of many freelancer sites where you can register yourself and you can advertise your skill sets, your experience, and you can basically be a freelancer for companies all over the world. People that don't necessarily have them in-house skills and they're looking to bring it someone else in from outside and pay them to do a very specific function. Now we're looking for the example of ClickFunnels again is sales funnel software. So we're looking at people that have put their services on there to do with sales funnels. And it could be copywriting, it could be technical support, it could be design. There are multiple roles available and this is why we spend that time earlier looking at the software, looking at why your business would need that software and then looking at your own skills and possible skills that you can learn too. So we look at these freelance websites like Upwork or Freelancer.com and we look at what people are charging. Now I don't want you to look at the top people on there and compare yourself and be terrified and think, well I don't have 10 years experience as a copywriter. That doesn't matter, everyone has to start somewhere. Not all companies will look at freelance sites. Not every business has the budget to employ the top people. Some businesses need you to go to them and advise exactly how you can help them. But the only way you will ever be able to freelance with a new skill set is if you put the time and energy and effort into learning them skills and applying them skills. So get yourself on there and don't be afraid. Now that covers how you can make money by being paid per hour. That's how you create a digital side hustle that utilizes either your existing skills or new skills. But I did promise you an extra step. I did promise you an additional way of making money. And that's coming up now. Digital freelancing is a great opportunity, but you pay with it with your time. So this bonus step is where we have the potential to create passive income streams that repeatedly pay into your account without any extra work. This is where it can pay to be the person that introduces the customer to your software. We're talking about affiliate marketing. It's a referral process. In other words, you recommend a product or service to someone. If they sign up using your link, you get a commission. ClickFunnels, for example, which is the example that I've used all the way through this because I promote ClickFunnels normally. ClickFunnels pay up to 40%. Their basic package per month is $97. So 40% of $97 is pretty good. That can add up quickly and they've got recurring revenue. Every month that someone's a customer for ClickFunnels, I will get that 40% of $97. For the bigger businesses, they could be paying $297 a month. You can imagine how many people make good money promoting ClickFunnels, but that's just one piece of software. There's affiliate schemes for most pieces of software and most tools that are out there. This is where it was important to look at the software in step one, and we're now gonna go back and do a little bonus step that we didn't do in step one. So I just want to show you a few examples of different pieces of software and the affiliate schemes. So remember, these affiliate schemes is basically when you recommend this piece of software to someone and someone signs up, you're going to get this commission. Now there's different types you can get. Some will pay you quite a large payout as a one-off uh, payment. Some will pay you recurring revenue. I mean, we look at this Thinkific one. Thinkific one pays quite a decent amount, but it also pays 20% recurring commission for as long as that person is a customer. So again, when we picked Thinkific before, we have a think about who would use it, why would they use it, and what skills you would need to promote it as well. All these things we can take into account as an affiliate. Again, let's have a look at another one. We're looking at Wild Apricot, which I've never heard of before, but on Captera.com it shows us some church software. So we're going to the we do a search for Wild Apricot affiliate, and we can see there that we earn a 10% commission for the first two years. And this software isn't cheap. These, these prices would add up. Now, there's various different ways that we're gonna be able to make money through affiliate marketing. It's all very well finding the software and finding the use cases for it, but we've gotta look at how we can make money. One last example is Wix. Now, Wix is a, a quite popular web page builder. So if we do a search for Wix affiliate, and we scroll down and we can see that every person you sign up for Wix, you're gonna get $100. $100 for getting someone to sign up, pretty good. I know what you're saying, you're thinking that's great, we can make money by recommending products, but how do people know that we're recommending them products? We create content. There's different ways of doing this, but basically the way I do it, the way that I think is the best, is you create content that helps people through social media. You could have a Facebook group, a YouTube channel, or a blog. 
You could even be a community expert, so you could run a Facebook group or that could target people in that industry, or it could even be aimed at people in your local area. Any business that could thrive or benefit from the software that you're promoting, create content, create a community that helps those people. The last option is to sell direct. Remember, not every business knows that there's software out there that resolves their problems. Maybe pick one industry, one particular niche. Why don't you find the solutions for that and create content based on it? And then go and find these people. Show them how good that software is. Show them how that software can improve their lives, their business. It can solve all the problems that they've got. That's what it's about, creating content and then either putting it out there to grow and find customers organically or go and find the customers yourself. You can use Google Maps to do that. So pick an industry, pick a niche, go to Google Maps, maybe look at your local area first and expand beyond that. So my name's John Davis, thank you for watching. That's how you create a digital marketing side hustle and also get started with affiliate marketing to create additional income streams. If you want to know more about affiliate marketing, jump into the link in the description and everything you need to know to get started is in there.